Palmer House Hotel, located on the corner of State and Monroe Street, was originally built as an extravagant wedding gift from the Chicago businessman Potter Palmer for his fiancée Bertha Honore. Unfortunately, the first Palmer House Hotel was only open for 13 days before the Great Chicago Fire destroyed it in the fall of 1871. However, Palmer immediately rebuilt a new hotel using funds he had secured through the largest individual loan ever taken at that time. The second Palmer House was completed less than two years later in 1873. The new hotel had an opulence reminiscent of the palace that the Emperor Nero had built for himself in Rome after the Great Fire of 64 BC, an incredible palace located in the heart of the city known as the Domus Aria, or the Golden House. Bertha and Potter lived in their own Domus Aria for the first part of their marriage, thus connecting their private home life intimately with their business's public life in Chicago. Known as the Princess of the Prairie, Bertha was well ahead of her time when it came to advocating for equality when it came to issues of women's education, wages, and working conditions. Bertha had many different roles when it came to Chicago's women's clubs. However, her most important title was that of the President of Board of Lady Managers, where she was responsible for events for women at the World's Columbian Exposition. Bertha also thoroughly enjoyed French Impressionist art, and thus she befriended Claude Monet and developed the largest collection of French Impressionist art outside of France, which she then donated to the Art Institute of Chicago for the public to enjoy. Additionally, the Palmer House was ornately decorated with styles that paid homage to European tastes. The second floor lobby includes 21 different Grecian frescoes depicting scenes from Greek mythology, all of which pertain to love which played into Bertha's romantic theme for the hotel. The hotel is mostly decorated in the French imperial and neoclassical style, modeled after Napoleon's Paris, with sculpted marble columns and grand decorations. Unsurprisingly, the Empire Room, which is adjacent to the lobby, is especially neoclassical with gold leaf designs everywhere and gigantic chandeliers hanging from the ceiling but the hotel also includes several instances of the Egyptian Revival style, with playful references to Egyptian art and culture included in the hotel's decor. The use of these two styles gave the Palmer House a historical and cultural legitimacy, in order for it to be a place where aristocratic Chicagoans went to spend time and money. The Palmer House also has decorations designed by the famous Louis Comfort Tiffany, including the peacock doors and the bronze wing statues in the lobby, further giving the Palmer House an identity as a lavish, classy hotel influenced by European grandeur. By using all of these culturally significant influences, Bertha and Potter were attempting to make the Palmer House the center of Chicago's aristocratic life. They knew in order for Chicago to be a world-class city, it needed both high cultural and high social standards, which they installed in the Palmer House for all to enjoy. The work that Bertha and Potter did in Chicago, as both philanthropists and business people, helped to establish Chicago as a world-class city and made it able to compete with Paris to be the Rome of the New World, while still remaining their beloved home city.